So when I finished early last night, because I was I was running on zero sleep, um, I pretty much like yes. hopped off stream, went had a shower, and like went straight to sleep. And I kind of just woke up really disoriented today. Uh, like it, it felt like I had like a full factory reset or something. Also, uh, Diablo itself, the game is a little bit um, a little bit laggy, a little bit chuggy tonight. If anybody heard during the countdown, the fucking intro music for Diablo was having a full-blown seizure. I was laughing my ass off. Um, it was just fucking ridiculous. It was like trying and then it was like replaying multiple notes and going everywhere. It was just, what the hell? Um, but yeah, I'm headed out to Lower Crossed and I saw on the map that we're supposed to kind of go up. I'll show you this. So there's like this little spot in here I'm supposed to go, I think. I think that's where we're going. Um, let me click on that. Let's see, hold up. It's only been a week, but I feel like, I feel like it's been longer since I played. I did play this last week, right? Fucking can't remember. But yeah, we've got to, we've basically got to go up here um, and through there. But I've already cleared out the entire place. So I've searched everything. Obviously everything doesn't stay dead when I come back in. Um, but that's okay, because I'll just get extra XP, which is always nice. I like the concept of getting additional stuff. Now, I do got to remember, I changed over my, whatever you call it, my attacks over. Um, oh, shit, fuck. So, it's not the same button I'm used to, I'm getting, I'm adapting. Adapting to it, because I can only put decoy on this one. I don't want to waste the magic until I've consistently button used to using the button over here otherwise I'll keep summoning it and wasting my mana um because I'm trying to rest up as much as I can today be ready for tomorrow and yes I mean tomorrow not tomorrow <laughs> it's all good grim um for anybody that's wondering I have a birthday stream tomorrow night um gonna be playing seven days to die uh the one that I've been playing for like the last uh what do you call it a month or so uh, Nick may hop on and play. Um, I'll check with uh, Merthless and stuff later when he's in. Find out if he wants to jump in or not. Like, he already can, but yeah. I'll just see if he wants to since it's not on one of the days where he um, is already playing his. But uh, yeah, it should be fun. I'm playing with, um, oh, what do you call it? The Warrior Difficulty Feral Sense Daytime. Oh, hello, what are you? We have a shave. What are these? Faithful. They look awesome. Shit, fuck. Um, yeah. So, it's like warrior difficulty, feral sense during the day. I think at some point in time, because I'll be playing for five hours, it might cycle back into Blood Moon. I'm going to have to check that based on where I'm up to in the game. Um, day-wise, because I can't remember what day we're up to, but I'm pretty sure... I don't think we had Blood Moon this week. I don't think. I can't remember. But yeah, there's a chance that there could be Blood Moon and I'll have the Twitch integration on. So yeah, people can do whatever with that. I kind of considered, and I don't really know if I will or not, uh, turn off like the cooldown timer. So people can just like fuck with the game nonstop. But I'll be live for five hours anyway. So I mean, I do hope to go get resources. Oh, they got the, the hell swarm. I don't mind these. It's like Australia, you know? It's just a fucking bunch of mozzies. Um, but yeah. I'm thinking, because I need to get resources, like wood in particular, so that I can put up more spikes around the place. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking that I'll be outside of my base a lot. What is that? Hey, Mathless, welcome in. Um, I was just talking about you too. I didn't know if, uh, well, I, I should just say, like, you're welcome to join in my stream tomorrow night, um, since I'll be playing Seven Days, uh, yeah, Seven Days to Die, um, the one that I have been playing this I whole time. So if you feel like joining in and just, like, running around for a bit and stuff, you're welcome to. Um, yeah, nothing's changed aside from that. It's kind of like letting everybody know about but they stream tomorrow. I was hoping to have like a um, uh, what do you call it? A portal of uh, one of those scrolls of identification. That's the word I need. Yeah, I like these things. I plan on being there. Nice. 
That'd be cool. I think Nick's gonna try to jump in right at the beginning of stream because uh, like, even though it will be going into the weekend, which by the way, Saturday is when my birthday is. I don't know if something resurrected that then. That worried me. Um, I can't carry yeah, because Saturday is when my birthday is, right? But I'm streaming from, uh, what is it, Friday to Saturday uh, overnight. So, yeah, it, it will, like, cross over and be my birthday okay. after, like, a couple of hours of stream. I'll have a timer on so you guys will know. But, uh, yeah. Um, Nick will be in the game probably at the very start of the night. But uh, that's about it. Because, yeah. He still goes to bed at this time, so even though it'll be a Friday, he'll still get tired. Unlike me. Um, this... No, nah, mine's better. I was hoping it was going to be better. I'm like, even if it's just marginally better. Now, I know I've got good health back in my thing. I'm just going to check what else I've got. But yeah. I probably... I don't know what fucking day it is. I think it's Thursday. I know I've got like double editing tonight because I went to bed uh, last night without doing anything. I, I literally just like left the computer and went to sleep. But um, yeah, I plan on pretty much trying to rest tonight after stream. Also, Methodist, I did catch like some of your stream, like as I was like laying down as well. Um, I thought I was going a bit crazy listening to it because the um, audio of your game was like really, really rough. I ended up screen recording it and it was your game's audio was running really, really rough. I just thought I'd let you know that because your audio on mic was fine, but your game itself was kind of like, it sounded distorted kind of, um, uh, what do you call it? Kind of like it was buffering constantly or something. I don't know how to describe it. Static y kind of thing. This thing do. Oh shit, put that back. Generates mana and target defense. I just don't know if I've got one. I think I've got one. I could probably sell it. I'll sell it when I come back. It'll be fine. Oh yeah, my um my stash will have no. I must have sold it. So good, thanks for taking a look. Yeah, I was gonna see if I could send you the screen capture from my phone. But um, Discord gets pissy about like file size stuff, so I doubt I can do that, which kind of sucks. But um, yeah, your your voice audio was coming through fine. It was really interesting, like the little bit that I like managed to catch before I fell asleep. Um, you sound so different um, when I'm not like constantly badgering you of conversation, and I'm just like, this is what passive. Uh, mirthless sounds like this is default mirthless so like it's funny but yeah the um oh what do you call it the um the audio itself the game was just kind of like it, it's just uh not that great I'm like that's that's not a good thing to have obviously like as a streamer it's good to have somebody like let you know if something's doing something shit because it's like I don't know if it plays shit for you I'm not saying like it's genuinely ship but I'm just saying like I don't know if when you take a look after streaming if uh, it shows up for you because sometimes things don't until like you put it on YouTube or something you know um, sometimes it's just kind of like runs smoothly after fact is it true I thought it was what I thought this is here yeah it's true I thought it was my end I what? didn't think it was the stream I am overburdened. oh what um, Mirthless's stream. Yeah, no, I ended up... That's why I thought it was, um... I thought it might have just been, like, I was tired. That's why I recorded it. Because I'm like... Yeah, it just... I don't know. Oh, this is probably where I've got to go. It just kind of sounded choppy. Like, if I hold on for a sec... I've got most of an inventory, right? I'll go back. Go back to town. Let me just check something. Let's see if... Hold on, let me turn down my headset. I'll just mute myself for a hot second and see if I can maybe play the sound on stream or something for you. I don't have a problem with doing this for a second. I don't know what I've got of it. Hold up.
Just trying to figure out where the fuck this thing saves it to. So just bear with me. it all right hold on i'm gonna turn off my game audio just so you guys can hear this for a second mirthless this is how your stream came through just so you can hear the audio okay just hold on second one okay so this is my ammo trying to get it to stop you don't want to work yesterday was a slow day yeah i thought i'd just let you know that because i even tried on like audio only and everything just to see if maybe i was chugging too much uh on stream because you know how sometimes i've said before with your streams um sometimes i struggle to like watch it especially if i'm doing like uh my editing and shit so this time i was doing nothing and I had nothing running. It was literally just, I had both my phone and my home internet for like maximum power internet. And that's what was coming through. So I thought I'd just let you know, cause um, I don't know if that's a setting or something, but um, for sure, I, I can't imagine, oh shit, <laughs> I need to sell shit. Um, I can't imagine that that was making it um, easier for people that were like seeing you for the first time and stuff. And I know how much that can that can make a difference and stuff when people don't know the difference, you know, if that's like the regular or a technical issue happening and stuff. So, you know, um, I don't know what yes, so was slow day. Thank you for letting me know. Previous streams are not like that. I don't think so. I don't believe that they were. Like usually um, some games, I've found this myself, there are some games out there where if the audio volume isn't loud enough to pick up the audio stream of the uh, game constantly um, it doesn't come through properly that's why I have uh, RimWorld so loud um, and other games and other games and stuff because um, sometimes it doesn't pick it up like RimWorld was one where when I used to listen to my VOD back I used to find that the audio was kind of choppy and would only sometimes pick up um, it would pick me up fine the entire time, but the rest of the stream, RimWorld's music would be chopping in, chopping out and stuff. So I ended up turning it up louder. I turned up a lot of my games to be louder than they need to be because I can adjust the volume in my headset. Um, and as long as I'm speaking loud enough and clear enough, especially if you've got a microphone that can like change the volume of gain and stuff. So the input of your volume of speaking and stuff can be increased instead of like uh something else being turned down and stuff what is the fuck is raining on me here yeah i don't i don't know what specifically will be like your setting with that but you know if it helps you I, i'd be you know happy to hear it because like yeah it I, I don't really want like other people being like not watching you just because like some shit's like happening like that because the sound was bad the entire stream watch it now 
Yeah. That's the other thing too. This is an important thing for other creators and streamers and stuff to know. Is if you are a streamer or if you're producing content and stuff, always take a little bit of time out of your day to watch at least parts of your stream. Like you don't have to sit and watch the entire thing. Um, but just make sure that you quality check it because there's a good chance that like most people aren't going to stop and tell you something's wrong. They're just going to leave. They're just going to go, oh, this person never talks because their microphone's muted or, you know, um, the game sound is like horrible to listen to. And it's like, oh God, like I couldn't sit through that for long. Like, I fell asleep. So it didn't matter to me. I was too tired to care, like, if the game was being choppy and your voice was coming through just fine, so it didn't matter. But, um, yeah, if somebody else knew was coming in and saw that for the first time, I could see that being a turn away, unfortunately. Like, no matter what you're doing with it. But, yeah, normally Deep Rock Galactic does have, like, there's some, like, uh, in-between music and stuff when you go back to, um, what is it, like, the tavern kind of area. And when the drill thing's doing stuff. But why are all these booby trapped? And yeah, the the drill like between levels and stuff, that only sounds really nice. Um, so I knew when that sounded crap that it was something was like going on, you know. Um because it's it usually sounds like pretty nice at that point. Um little higher minions. I mean, workers to do video check and pay them with coffee. The thing with that though, Grim, is like even if some people like pay people to go through and like check their videos and stuff like that, even then, to some degree, you've still got to quality check what they do. I have heard stories of people like going and paying out of pocket and stuff to get somebody to do various works and whatnot, and I the quality is just you. not up to par for what they actually wanted. So when they get it back, they end up having to do all this extra work and stuff on top of what they could have already done. So, plus it's also not always feasible to necessarily have to pay somebody to do something. Like, that is part of, you know, the joy of being a content creator in any light is the age-old do-it-yourself, it's free, you know. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't want to, like, try to, like, I don't know, explain it last night. I was too tired. I was way too tired. I, um, the other thing too is, like, I was pretty sleepy at the start of stream. Because obviously I didn't sleep yesterday. And, uh, so when I was streaming, I just kind of got progressively more tired, for obvious reasons. Plus, like, the sound of RimWorld, I'd been listening to it for, like, 10 hours earlier that day while I was doing stuff. So that was kind of lulling me. And I think, like, as much as everybody was kind of t talking away earlier in the night, conversation kind of ceased at one point. And it was like, I have no concept of time when I'm tired. So I couldn't tell if it was like 15 minutes anymore. or five hours, <laughs> you know, not literally, but that I was like sitting there in like playing a game. Um, you know what felt like like by myself and stuff so yes. i'm like okay i i'm pretty tired not much is going on yes. i'm just gonna like stop and rest and stuff so that's what i did yesterday but uh yeah i still woke up feeling like i need to sleep kind of sucks i mean i don't know about you guys but gotta be one of the biggest drawbacks of being an adult is like a constant never feeling like you've slept i don't know it just never goes away I shouldn't have sold my mana. Damn it. I don't know, maybe some people have that go away, but I sure as shit don't. Um, what are you laughing at, Mathless? <laughs> that is so true. Yeah. Oh, shit. No, nah, it's all right. I need to fill that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of like feel like that's a constant staple. It's one of those things where you know how you hear of like, I don't know, it used to be stories. People used to tell nice stories about like growing up and growing older and stuff. It used to be like, oh, you'll grow up and, uh, you know, you'll get to do all these cool things, go places and do stuff. And it's like, nobody, nobody like really like honed in the fact that you'll pay bills and uh, do, do your dishes and get your own groceries and cook your own meals and shit. Like, you know, <laughs> nobody, nobody factored in all the other crap. It's like it was purposely omitted or something, you know, just like left out. 
I can't remember last night. I think I was playing games, but it was a blur. And so I think I did pop in a few streams for a few minutes, then back to gaming. Yeah, I think he popped in last night, Grim. Um, I was so tired. It was like um, it was like last Friday, where I was so tired after stream. I had to literally watch my stream back to figure out what the fuck I did and said and stuff because I had no clue. Um, last night I haven't got to like check back on that. I assume I was probably like I don't know. Calm down, love. I was probably like drowsily like rambling on for hours. That's what I feel like I did. I feel like I probably had like massive pauses in conversation, but I better probably didn't. And uh, yeah, it just felt, it felt like a really kind of slow night. Like I was kind of like aware of time and I'm not usually that aware of time when I'm streaming. I usually have to like remember to check the clock or somebody has to remember to let me know that it's like end of stream time and stuff. So yeah, last night was bad, but um, yeah, I don't know. In some ways, I kind of feel like... Oh, jeez, why is everything here trapped? In some ways, I kind of feel like taking, like, a couple of days off or something like that and resting. But at the same time, I'm like... Oh, the weekend's literally coming up. You know? And I know I'll probably feel better after a rest on the weekend. But, uh... I've got to get to the weekend first. Plus, tomorrow night's my birthday stream, so... That'll be interesting. I'll have, uh... What do you call it? Uh, I've already gone up this way. I'll have um, a five hour stream on a Friday instead of the usual like three. So, oh hello. There's more things running at me. Yeah. It'd be interesting. I, I had to put a reminder in my phone to remind me that not to play PUBG tomorrow night. Because yeah, I kind of figured I'm going to hop down at the computer and just be like load up into PUBG and then I don't know, an hour into stream or something like that or whenever Grim goes to log in be like, oh, change of plans. The thing is with that is I feel like Grim, you'd be the kind of person that would be like you'd see that I'm playing something else and you wouldn't call attention to the fact that it's the wrong game. You'd just be like I you know, shrug your shoulders and internally think to yourself that, oh, she just changed her mind and she's playing something else and just like go with it. And then like several hours into a stream I'd then realise I feel like that's what would happen. But um, I feel like that's happened once before, actually. I feel like I've done that. Hey, five hours. Where's the good old days? 14 plus hours. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Streaming a game is a little bit different than, like, hanging out and just, like, casually playing and stuff in your personal time. Like, I don't know. Like, I do kind of wake up and definitely enjoy, like, chatting with you guys and stuff, but the constant mental awareness sometimes of, like, what's going on in a game, people talking, um, all sorts of stuff, uh, does kind of, like, wear me out after a few hours. So I also know that because I'm pretty stressed lately, like, it's best for me not to try to, like, push it into, like, a six-plus hour stream or something like that. Because at first I was thinking I was going to do like a six hour PUBG stream or something. I can't. Carry and then I kind of decided that that wasn't going to be a very smart idea. Um, I'm going to have to go back whether I like it or not here. I was thinking that wouldn't be a smart idea because the editing will take me like, you know, I don't know, 12 hours Good day. plus um, on top of actually doing the stream. So yeah, there you are. Um, I don't know. Seven Days to Die isn't too bad for editing. Unless, like, the last couple of streams I've forgotten to add the vultures in when they attack me. But aside from that, it's not too bad. I'll see if I need any more of these, like, stripy ones. Not really. I am just keeping banner. But I really don't need to keep holding on to this much health. I'm not using it. Eventually I will. Eventually I need it. Let's grab no, that back for sale. And let's chuck one of those in there. Um, but yeah, even at the moment, Grim, five hours seems like it feels to me like it's going to be a long time just because, um, I'm very worn out at the moment. Um, but yeah, I think if it's nice and fun and light and we can get some resources and stuff, yeah, I think I'd be all right. I definitely like the idea that, like, Mirthless and, like, uh, Nichols, they, like, jump in as well. 
Because that'll make it fun. Oh, fucking hell. Why are they all trapped? Um, I feel like I can't remember where Mathless Lass was when he loaded in last. I think he was in your old base, Grim. So that'll be interesting too because like you've obviously like built up a couple of things in your old base and on top of that you're also trying to like bring stuff from it. So yeah. I, I kind of feel like Methless will be kind of like stuck. Did I walk down onto this? Huh. I didn't think that I thought that that was just like how would you call it? Pondweed stuff, you know, duckweed. Um Yeah. I don't know. I think it'd be pretty pretty interesting. Especially since like Mirthless plays on insane with Feral Sense. And my game is somehow harder. Um, and I don't think anybody's really gonna like bring in extra stuff for like everybody else. Like I think it's mostly just gonna be people trying to kill kill me for like a few hours. Maybe do you need more meat shield? I mean pack meals I mean, friends to play with. Look, I don't know where Nick's going to spawn either. I did warn him that it's going to be Warrior difficulty and Feral Sense and it's really fucking hard. But um, he doesn't seem the least bit concerned. So, like, he's not going to have any gear. That's also another problem is, like, he's not going to have any gear and I'm pretty sure we only have, like, maybe one or so spare items. Because, like, it, Grim and I, we've got, like, this kind of community play style kind of thing like we've always played with a few people right so when it comes down to playing seven days to die like we always have the diffused vein where am i supposed to be going in here where's my questing and a cross bazaar this isn't the cross bazaar is it no it is that's probably where i'm supposed to go it's fucking settle down jesus she will not yeah this is definitely where i've got to go you can tell by the amount of shit that's next to it all right, I'm going to click the thing and hopefully it'll open up and I'll come back to this. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Let's all do that again. There's a lot of spiders in there. That was um, unnecessary. Uh, yeah, normally Grim and I will save stuff for other people in case they hop on and play and stuff. So, yeah, we'll almost always have, like, at least one spare, like, item. Um, but because, like, nobody's been on for, like, a little while... I've been selling excess stuff that's at least like a couple of levels lower than it should be. I don't know about Grim. I don't know if he's been keeping anything. Um, but I think maybe he would. Given the pokey stick. Um, yeah. That would be interesting. Especially like, the funny thing is like if anybody's like hanging around me in the game and then we get like stuff spawned on me that's actually something i wouldn't mind seeing is like last time when we had the integration on everybody just kind of like went their own way and so when everybody kept spawning shit on me for this is like my stream anniversary last year everybody just kind of went their own way and i just kept getting shit spawned on me and kept dying it was only like a brief period of time where i think mirthless and waffleton and stuff were like running around with me and grim as well and then we started getting problems with like zombie bears and all sorts of shit getting spawned on us but yeah that was that was nuts but that was only really brief the rest of the time i spent a lot of time on that like stream anniversary being just dead um but yeah it's still going to be like the regular game so maybe i'll just leave like the normal five minute cooldown timer on as it is um let's see what else there's a well over here what's that not happening i'm too greedy to share well, the other thing too is that whatever we share with like Nick, he may not necessarily hop back on anytime soon. I'm gonna go up and around behind this. There seems to be like two two temples, and I've got to go down the sewers. So those temple things are definitely not where I've got to go. I'll just finish mapping out this place and finding everything. And there's a way down here behind me. It's hard to see, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, there's some swarms and stuff. I haven't been in there. I thought I had. I am I can I can shoot them though. This is the best part. Um, if I'm overburdened. I am overburdened. No, don't don't show me her inventory. I want to see mine. I can put some stuff in here. Um, of any of these things, yes. I was gonna say if I could just identify something. They're more of craftsmanship, huh? All right. Everything over. 
Um, yeah, there we go. I know that is why we give him the vehicle and get him to park it in a spot where we want to build and stay logged off. Oh yeah. And we definitely had that at least 